good to see you again i call myself uh, mr us patil working as assistant professor at sharad institute of technology college of engineering at dravid chalkarji kolapur district maharashtra now we are going through a bezier curve the contents uh, we going through that introduction uh, in that history we will see what is the bezier bezier curve the major difference between the bezier curve and the cubic spline curve a cubic bezier curve that is nomenclature of cubic bezier curve and cubic bezier curve for various control points and important characteristics of bezier curve and we'll see the application as well so come to the point of uh, the history you might have observing uh, this image you might have uh, thinking about what exactly it is so before computer graphics ever existed there were engineers designing aircraft wings and the automobile chassis by using splines using these a uh, splines a splines is a, a long flexible piece this is a long flexible piece of wooden or it might be a plastic with an rectangular cross section held in a place at the various position by heavy loaded weights with a with a ducts with a this is called duct where the duct holds the splines in a flexible position against the drawing board against the, this drawing board the splines then conforms to natural shape between the ducts by moving the ducts around the moving the ducts around the designer can change the shape of the splines the drawback are obvious uh, recording duct position and the maintaining the drafting equipment necessary for many complex parts will take up a square footage in the storage facility cost that would be uh, absorbed by the consum consum <coughs> consumer as well so a not so obvious drawback is that when analyzed mathematically there is no closed form solution however in 1960s uh, the mathematician and engineer named Perry Beazer changed everything with his newly developed CADG sorry CAGD that is tool called unsurf unisurf sorry unisurf uh, that tool called uh, that unisurf this new software allowed designed designers to draw smooth looking curves on the computer screen and used less physical storage space for design materials as well the bezier contributes to computer graphics has proven the road for cad software like maya blender and uh, 3d max as well his developments serve as an entry get into learning about modern computer graphics which span world a rela <coughs> relatively a new mathematical object known as splines or smooth curve specified in terms of the a few points so now what is the exact bezier curve the bezier curve are parametric curve used frequently in modeling smooth surfaces in computer graphics and many other related fields 
these curves can be scaled indefinitely. So linked brazier curves contain paths that are combination that are spontaneous and can be modified. And this curve also, this curve or this tool is also made use in the controlling motion in the animation video as well. So this is what we say a brazier curve. So what as its mathematics shows shortly the major difference between the Bezier curve and the cubic spline curve are the shape of a Bezier curve is controlled by its defining points only. The first deriva <coughs> derivatives are not used in the curve development as in the case of the cubic spline. This allows the designer a much better feel to the relationship between input points and the output curves and the next this is the order or degree of Bezier curve is variable and is related to the number of points defining it that is n plus one points defines an nth degree curve which permits higher order continuity this is not the case uh, for cubic splines where the degree is always cubic for a spline segment. So the last one is the Bezier curve is smoother than the cubic spline because it has higher order derivatives. Yes. So the Bezier curve is defined in terms of the location of n plus 1 points. So these points are called data control points, uh, data control points, and they form a, v, a vertices of what is called the control or Bezier characteristics polygon, which uniquely defines the curve shape as shown here. Only the first and the last control points, first and the last control points. Or vertices of the polygon actually lie on the curve. The other vertices define in the order derivatives and shape of the curve. The curve is also always tangent to the first and the last polygon segment. In addition, the curve shape tends to follow the polygon sh shape. These three observations should enable to use to sketch or predict the curve shape when its control points are given. That is control points, these Bezier control points we can say that is starting point, that is Bezier control point and this is also second Bezier uh, control point and this is the end point and this is the control uh, vector so this line is of control vector that is characteristics polygon and PK control points that is P0, P1, P2 and P3 now if you this is a nomenclature of a cubic uh, Bezier curve and if you see the cubic visual curve for various control points uh, the order uh, this this figure shows that the order defining the control points changing the polygon definition which changes the resulting curve shape consequently right these arrow uh, depicted on each curve shows its parameterization direction so this is what from here to here the starting point this is the end point here starting point and this is end point this is starting point and this is the end point again if similarly here starting and this is end this is starting and again this is end so these are the points control points this is this is control points and p1 p P0, P1, P2 and P3 this is what a direction 
of curve and similarly here you can say P0, P1, P2, P3 and here itself the end of P4 here and starting and ending points are here only. So this, this is gonna be like this and if the starting point PO one sorry you can say it's from direction here so one two three and four and this is five and starting and end point is here only so it comes like this so now the mathematically for n plus one control points the visual curve is defined by the polynomial of degree n uh, this is a what a p of u that is equal to summation of n to e equal to sorry i equal to 0 that pi and bi of n sorry bi n of u so p of u is any point on the curve right function of the p's of function u uh, we can uh, function uh, sorry where p is p of u is any point on the curve isn't it so pi is control point pi is a control point that is 0 p0 p1 p2 p3 these are the control points and pi and are the bernstein sorry bernstein polynomials Bernstein polynomials that is b of b i n of u that is equal to c of n and i that is u raised to i into 1 minus u raised to n minus i so where c of n i is the binomial coefficient that is c of this is binomial coefficient that is c of n <coughs> n of n and i uh, equal to n factorial divided by i factorial into n minus i factorial from the this equation 2 and 3 we are observing that c of n i n if 0 if you say 0 and if you say n we will get the value of 1 only and so from equation 1 from this equation 1 we can write that p of u that p of u that is equal to p i that is 0 0 1 minus u that is b i so we can say this 1 minus u so g i is 0 here so raised to n similarly plus p1 of c p1 of c into n and 1 if say i is 1 so 1 u into bracket 1 minus u the n minus 1 plus p2 similarly goes on uh, sorry here it should be um, u raised to 2 that is u raised to 1 here so u raised to 2 and so on goes on the n minus 1 and lastly this one will be n so here you can say u is lies between 0 to 1 so that was the mathematically uh, bizarre curve defined in the polynomial of degree n so here now we'll see the important characters of a, of a bizarre curve is the degree of Bezier curve defines by n plus 1 control point in n right in each basic function the exponent of u is i plus n minus 1 equal to n and therefore the degree of the curve is n only then second one the characteristic is uh, p of u passes through the p naught and p n so we can see here p naught to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is here p 3 p naught to p n this this figure shows the 
curve passes through the first and the last control point, isn't it? First and the last control point. That is, pu passes through p of u passes through the pu no not and p n. So no negativity. All basic functions are no negativity at all. And fourth one is a portion of unity. The portion of unity. The sum of the basic functions at a fixed u is one. Right? So you can say here u is a one. That is not difficult to verify that the basic functions are the coefficient in the binomial expression of the expression that is 1 equal to bracket u plus 1 minus u into bracket raised to n. Hence uh, their sum is 1. Hence the sum is a 1. Moreover uh, since they are non-negative we conclude that the value of any basis function is in the range of 0 to 1 or 0 and 1 only. Since all basis functions are in the range of 0 and 1 and add to 1, they can be considered as weights in the computation of weighted average. More precisely, we could say that uh, to compute P of U, uh, one takes the weight of Bn and I of U for control points Pi and sum them together as we now see here right so next is a convex hull property convex hull property this means uh, uh, that the Beza curve defines by or defined by a given n plus one control point lies completely in the convex hull of a given control point. The convex hull of a set of point is the smallest convex set of contains all points. If you see this figure, uh, the convex hull of the 11 control points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and this one is 11. Note that not all control points are on the boundary of the convex hull. For example, the control point 3, 4, 5, 8 and 9 are in the interior, are in the interior. The curve expect for the first two endpoints, first two endpoints lies completely in the convex hull right and this property is very important because we are guaranteed that the generated curve will be in the in an understood and computable reason and will not go outside of it right so next one is a variation dimensioning property if the curve is in a plane means uh, that no straight lines intersects a Bezier curve more times than it intersects the characteristics polygon if you see this figure line 1 intersects uh, line 1 intersects the curve 3 times and the polygon mm, polyline 7 times polyline and the 7 times and line 2 intersects and line 2 <coughs> intersects the curve and its po <coughs> polyline twice the line 3 intersects the curve 4 times and the polyline seven times. You can draw other straight lines to verify this property. So what is meaning of its characteristics is uh, it tells us that 
the complexity uh, that is uh, turning and twisting the complexity are that curve is no more complex than the characteristic polygon in other word you can say the characteristic polygon twists and turns more frequently than the bezier curve does because an arbitrary line hits the control polyline more often than it hits the curve right <coughs> that is if you see this uh, figure the characteristic polygon is more complex than the curve is defined right so this is what a variation dimensioning property the characteristics of the bezier curve and next is affine invariance the affine invariance means affine means uh, the assigning finite values to finite quantities uh, here if an of <coughs> affine or if you say the assigning finite values to finite quantities a transformation is applied to bezier curve the result can be constructed from the affine images of its control points this is a nice property when we want to apply geometric or even affine transformation to bezier curve this property states that we can apply the transformation to control points which is quite easy and once the transformed control points are obtained the transformed bezier curve is the one defined by these new points therefore we do not have the transformation transform the curve so <coughs> this is one moving a control point the changing the position of the control point will change the shape of the defined basis curve isn't it so this one next it is bezier curve are tangent to their first and uh, last legs that we have uh, see uh, that we have sorry that we have see here we can already know that this is the bezier curve are the tangents to the first and the last leg so we'll see now uh, some of applications of this uh, there is first one is a camera movement uh, one of the first area in 3d computer graphics to exploited by polynomial curve was the non linear movement of camera or object uh, through a vir <coughs> virtual environment if you create a linear path between some key positions the camera will be jerky in its movements by interpolating the path with a spline curve we obtain the smooth curve which fits the task perfectly right that is next that is <coughs> topologies uh, topologies is uh, we can say that geometric figure or solid or we can say anatomical structure uh, in visualization software we often need to model topologies of different types in computer games we crave natural looking bodies faces and level surfaces for our characters characters to travel on this is not seldom done uh, by using nerves surfaces the nerve surfaces are a kind of different uh, you can say Mm, software or you can say a curve uh, which provide excellent control both for smooth and sharp surfaces uh, here we can uh, benefit from the non discrete property that allows for a different resolution depending on the application uh, next is a uh, character movement character movement and uh, uh, if we gaze back at the amusement application development during the early 1980s we often see that a uh, character moves in a straight lines or even in a fixed direction that is up or down or left or right as soon as processing power of computer started to e elevate uh, develops or developers began to use a curve 
interpolation and approximate to get a smooth movement. If we combine key points on the nerve curves, uh, good looking rotational interpolation uh, that is a spherical interpolation for instant or uh, you can say inverse kinematics and random movements uh, behavior uh, behavioral noise uh, we basically have today's concept for the creating decent characters character translation uh, okay the next one is we can say that uh, collision detection uh, the basic problem behind the topic collision detection is to determine when object collide with as little processing power as possible while maintaining a solid behavior. This is the huge topic by itself and we will concentrate on the advantage of using parametric representation for curves and the surface and how to use them in an interactive application next is uh, we can say soft object sorry uh, we can say this is not a soft uh, object uh, that is uh, one another is there object uh, AutoCAD law you can say this is um, uh, soft object sorry uh, for some disturbance uh, collision detection we have seen a uh, soft object uh, a very tricky subject in the um, realms of physics and computer graphics is to model good looking cloth uh, blackheads and other soft uh, uh, deformable objects often we got we get a good results by suspending a surface with a number of springs that we use to calculate the resulting forces these forces can then be applied to the surface control points right uh, this is what a uh, soft objects we can uh, say the application over there and uh, next we can say that automatic LOD that is level of detail uh, in LOD determines how detailed a particular object is uh, and uh, an oft used trick uh, that developers use is to render several versions of an object offline this object can be picture, model, surface or anything with a polygon representation. As the camera moves closer to the object, we switch between different level of LOD. A close up of the object money may contain say 500 polygons while a very distant view only contains 5. This is very similar to the technique described as uh, figures means that some meshing parts of that nodes and all things you might have seen and next object modeling that uh, is sorry object modeling uh, one last topic that should uh, be mentioned in the ability to create in a game object uh, which is very common applications uh, this is often done in 3d modeling software but can be done within the executive applications as well so uh, these are the some applications related to curve uh, so uh, thank you uh, everyone uh, we'll see in a next session soon thank you uh, thank you very much